How's it going, everybody? This is uh, Marshall Johnson, EliteFTS.com, uh, sponsored by Southside Bully as well, and I train at P Town Barbell. Um, as I had said in my previous training log, that uh, there are some things that I did very wrong and some things that I did very right. Um, I'm just coming off a uh, very successful meet for myself. Um, I did Bill Carpenter's UPA Iron Battle on the Mississippi. Uh, it was very successful for me to say the least. Um, I'd like to talk about some of the things that I did very wrong. Um, uh, I have a tendency to overtrain when I'm training for a meet. Um, taking time off equal, equal, or automatically equals weak uh, in, uh, in my frame of thinking. Uh, I would find myself doing not just one or two, but sometimes even three uh, max effort lifts uh, in one training session. You know, on a see on a deadlift day, you know, we'd go max effort, uh, pulls off the ground, and then I'd go max effort um, on rack pulls, and then I would go max effort on um, let's say kettlebell pull throughs. Um, uh, eventually, I would find myself uh, injured. Um, you know, I had to uh, had to take two weeks off, two separate occasions in this training cycle. Uh, that's almost. It wasn't exactly a month. It was it was really close to a month off, in just a three month training cycle. That's a lot of time to be taking off just for you know training like a moron. Um, I I uh, I really need to learn to uh, keep it to just one max effort movement. You know, just because I'm gonna do rack pulls after I do regular des doesn't mean I have to work up to, you know, six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred pounds on rack pulls as well. Um, uh, Jeff Adkins, uh, the man who owns the gym I train at, uh, Neil Heisick, my training partner, and uh, Scott Nutter, one of my sponsors, uh, have always told me uh, you know, you need to take time off. You need to take time off. You know, there there are three people that are uh, very smart and intelligent in the in the world of powerlifting, and uh, I need to start listening to them more often because usually nine times out of ten they're right and I'm wrong. Um, probably the best advice I got on the subject was from Brian Carroll. Uh, he told me that uh, powerlifting isn't a sprint; it's a marathon. So. I need to learn to just not necessarily take it easy in training, but I don't have to destroy myself to where I can't even train. You know, I'm sabotaging myself more than anything else. Uh, it got to the point where I couldn't even hold my own torso up that my back was so messed up. You know, luckily there's a good chiropractor that I saw up here. Um, I spent a lot of time with the ice, icing saved me. Um, so yeah, I really need to learn to just train smart. Um, you can still train hard when you're training smart, but, uh, let's see, one of the other things that I did very wrong was, uh, I would, uh, the last couple meets I had listened to, to people around me who would, uh, you know, constantly make fun of me about taking supplements. Um, you know, starting out as a bodybuilder, you know, supplements has always been a huge part of training for me. Uh, but for some reason in powerlifting, it's stupid. You know, I, I really don't get that. Um, so I would quit taking supplements, you know, and just train and eat. Which, you know, isn't a bad formula either. But how is it going to hurt you to supplement amino acids, supplement uh, a multivitamin, supplement fish oils, uh, pre-workout, post-workout, you know, a really good protein, you know. Those are some of the things that I had neglected. This last training for this meet is when I finally started to go back to my roots, um, take a good pre-workout. Uh, fish oils and multivitamins saved me tremendously. Every single uh, meet I've ever done, um, I've always gotten really sick. Usually about one to two weeks out from the meet, I would get really sick, you know, sinus infection, uh, tonsillitis, you know, I've gotten pneumonia before. Um, but this was the first training cycle that I have never gotten sick, not even, 
not even close to being sick. And I really attribute it to the, you know, the fish oil and uh, the multivitamins that I was taking. Um, those are two very important things, especially when you're putting your body under as much stress as we are. Um, the fish oils were amazing for my joints. Um, I didn't experience as much joint pain this training cycle. Um, you know, those are those are two main things that you know I've I've neglected or I've done wrong. Um, you know, the next couple days, you know, I'll, I'll make another video explaining you know some of the things that I did very right. So uh, until then. See you guys later.